Hi, I'm Chris Lampkin. I'm one of the curators of entomology at the Queensland Museum. Today I'm going to explain to you how you might collect insects. Here we have a malaise trap and this malaise trap collects flying insects that fly along a flight path. And when they hit this central panel, they fly up. And the sorts of insects that tend to do that are the flies and the wasps and some of the butterflies. And they come up to the top and they continue to move up to what we call the head. They go into this chamber at the top and then they fall into the preservative that's underneath in the collection chamber. The malaise trap is tied at both ends usually to vegetation and it's then tied out so that you open the trap up. The bottom is then pegged out so that it's close to the ground if not touching the ground. That means that the flying insects that are coming along the ground will also be collected in the trap. After a couple of days we can take the sample. Insects have flown into the trap and have been collected in the collection chamber. So here we have a sample sitting in a preservative. For a preservative you can use ethanol or you could use metho or if it for a longer term sample you might be using propylene glycol. In this sample there is already a label that I placed in when we set the trap up. I'll add another label today as I take the sample out. Those labels will put the dates down, the location including a GPS location if we have that data and also the method. That is most important. The method that you have collected the sample by because afterwards you cannot tell because it's just a group of insects sitting in preservative.